Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to sit down and talk about my October favorites. It definitely is a change in wardrobe and things that I wear, so I definitely wanted to sit down and talk about bags, shoes, skincare, makeup, home decor. So if you're interested, go grab your snack, your coffee, let's sit down and chat. So there's one pair of shoes that I wanted to focus on on this video because they took me by a complete surprise because I was, first of all, hesitant to get them. Second of all, when I got them, I just was like, was this a mistake? I haven't had the best luck with shoes lately. Like the last time that I tried a new style of shoes, it was the, with the Celine loafers and I ended up hating them. But they are my Chanel ballerinas. Some of mine are already all dirty. Like on the sole and on the inside too. I found this in London. It was so hard to find them, but when I finally did, I was over the moon about it. I tried them on at the store and they were very comfy. Something that I do want to note is that the sole is super thin, so they're not meant for standing and walking all day with them because they don't offer a lot of support. The thing is that I felt like I was stuck wearing white sneakers for a really, really long time and I really wanted this, but I was a little bit scared that they would look like a little bit childish because they're like ballerinas. They are very feminine shoes so it was something that i was not sure if it was gonna adapt very well to my own style but when i found them i said why not let's go for it right now they're super trendy i think now dior has ones i saw them in london and they're like super super similar every brand is jumping on the ballerina trend so now today i can tell you that if i found this in velvet in tweed in other colors i would definitely go for them it is a stretching period like the first couple of times that i used them they were super snug and they were a little bit painful but when using them, the leather, especially right here, they're gonna stretch out and then you're gonna find them to be super comfy. I know this was probably not the smartest thing to do, but I took them to London and I also took my sneakers, uh, white sneakers. And these are the only ones that I used basically for the entire trip. I have the vlog, you can look for it. It was my last London vlog. And I walked every single day with them and I was fine. At some point they get uncomfy, but every shoe at some point during the day, if you're walking nonstop, it's gonna start hurting. I also really like the style. I think it adds like a different vibe to what I wear usually. So for me, it's been working out great. I love them. One thing though, is that if it rains, don't take them out because they're gonna start getting the spots so it happened to me once and i came and i had to wipe them so if you were hesitating between getting them or not i would say yes but be mindful maybe try to go for the wider version of the shoes they will definitely be uncomfortable at first alongside with the rain because it's raining a lot i don't know if you can tell but it's super gloomy i actually have sun coming through that window and it's like a little bit warmer and now it's giving all the halloween fall vibes but i wanted to share this i've had it for a while so this is from carrie i don't know if you guys are familiar with carrie atelier they also have handbag cooks but this has been for me a game changer i absolutely love it especially when it comes to taking it with my more delicate bags if it rains i take it on trips so it is this couch Sorry about the masha hair, but it is a raincoat for your bags. And for example, when I went to Paris, like I know that Paris, especially around January, it gets super rainy. Usually the raincoats that come inside of the boxes when you buy a bag, especially when it comes to Hermes, they're not that good. And this one is amazing. Here it has a logo of the brand and it basically has this on top that makes it like adjustable. I would say that this is good for a Chanel Jumbo. Birkin 30, I'm not sure about the Birkin 35, but I can test it out. I will link this, it's really, really good. It has saved me a couple of times for sure. Now, something else that I wanted to kind of review on this video, because it's like a month mark since I have it. Let me show you. So I upgraded my phone to the 15 Pro Max and I'm not a upgrader type of person. I had the 12 beforehand and before the 12, I had like another one that was like a few generations older. I usually don't think that there's enough things changing on the phones for me to grant to upgrade and pay the money, but this time it was due. But one thing that I'm gonna tell you, don't get this phone case. Right now you're gonna see this marks here. I'm gonna definitely change it. I'm gonna go for another one, but this is the new suede that they released and I absolutely hate it. This is water and I was brushing my teeth and I just placed my phone. There was a few water drops. It's just water, but it looks so dirty. And then when it dries out, it's all like patchy. I really like the color. It's very my style if you know me. It's not a good phone case. I'm definitely going to be changing it. And specifically, I got mine in the natural titanium. Let me try to get the phone case off. You can see here, mine is in the natural titanium. And honestly, the reason why I decided to upgrade was 90% because of the camera. Because I use sometimes my phone for vlogging. This looks disgusting. But of course, I don't want to break the phone and I drop it often. So yeah, 
I'm gonna be careful with that. I do have a few things to say. One, the camera is insanely good. I do have a few complaints, especially when it comes to the frontal camera. I don't think that it changed much from the 12. My sole decision for changing the phone was literally that, the camera. Sometimes when I'm traveling, I don't like to bring my camera with me. With a lens, you need to start properly. I get a little bit nervous because, you know, things bump. Also, you need to bring then the charger, extra batteries, a lot of stuff, and people People do stare at you on the street a lot when you vlog with a camera so sometimes when I'm somewhere else that it's not like here in Barcelona I just feel uncomfortable and lately I've been traveling a little bit more alone and I also don't feel super comfy with a full camera and a tripod like this so I was like honestly if I can upgrade my phone and sometimes just vlog with my phone that would be amazing that would save me a lot of issues also, the camera from the 12 to the 15 was definitely worth it for me. Polo has the 13 and I don't see that many changes, but just for me, I've been using the Plus 5. I love it. Amazing. The camera, it's insane. The front of one is not. I tested it out on that vlog and it just was too pixelated, especially with a little bit of lower light that it was exactly the same on the iPhone 12. There's a lot of features that I am definitely enjoying. I am really happy that I upgraded the phone. Not complaining at all, but just want to note that if you use it for vlogging the phone is gonna heat up a lot mine has been overheating especially when i film for a long period of time or just when i have it charging and using sometimes i have no idea what to deal with that and also the battery life is not the best when you're filming so let's say i go out and i'm filming on and off for the next two hours i would see almost half my battery just gone which is a little bit annoying but i do have an extra battery pack that i take with me everywhere but that's something to take into mind if you had the 13 or the 14 and you were thinking about upgrading i've also seen that the phones are really delicate so yes put a phone case on them which is really sad because honestly the phone is really pretty i really like the color but i never have the heart to wear it without a phone case so yeah i will not be doing that following the electronic theme i do have one thing that i wanted to recommend so this I was gifted during a trip with Farfetch. So this is the Suvi hair dryer. I didn't try it until my Dyson broke down. So basically I had a lot of issues with my Dyson lately, which were super annoying. Basically it was making this really loud sound and I clean it constantly. Like the filter is always clean. And I even have like different ones for when I like interchange them. But it started to make like a really loud noise. Then the red dot was turning on and off. And at some point it would just shut down. So I sent it for repair and in the meantime i decided that i want to start using this one the reason why it took me so long to try it out it's because it has a uk adapter and here in europe we don't have the same one that in europe and i couldn't find one here so i ordered one on amazon but it's basically the reason why it took me so long to try it out and i have nothing but the best things to say about it because i was doing my hair like for a week or two with this one it has like this uv light technology it has this for styling so if you were looking for a hair dryer that was not the Dyson or try something different, honestly, I've been really loving this one. It is also not super loud and it has this styling. So I had to go back to the round brush and then going with the hair dryer. The Dyson changed my life in that way, but this one is so, so good. And I prefer to dry my hair with this one rather than the Dyson and then style my hair with the Dyson. So this is new for me. Like... I am so angry that I didn't try it before and I just had to look a little bit further on Amazon to find the adapter. So I find it to be super gentle. I think it's better for actually drying your hair if you're not styling it. So yeah, I just wanted to share the love because I've actually been really loving it. Now I want to talk about jewelry pieces and I've been using probably the same stack, same earrings, same everything for a while now. I'm actually going a little bit more into white gold lately. Not much, like I still mix and match. And I know that I've talked about this watch for so many videos now but this is my Piaget I love mini watches I think they're the ones that suit me the best so I've been using this Piaget with my diamond tennis bracelet from spiritual gloss and I basically took all my rings off I don't know why I'm honestly someone who loves rings and I have a few of them but lately I've been really liking a little bit more simple and just wear my engagement ring and on the other hand I finally have my love bracelet back so here it is and my grandma's bracelet so on my last vlog I actually talked about it they did change it for the new system definitely something was wrong with it because it's not supposed to be falling off you're not supposed to be tightening your love bracelet every single day so yeah they changed it so far for this past week it's perfect. Usually I would test if it was going to fall off by pressing it like this and I would feel like 
it moving around a little bit and now it's like shut and actually when they were putting it back on i could feel the clicking so hopefully this is the solution and i did change it hands to this one now for earrings i have this ones they're just very simple gold hooks these were from my grandma i've been loving wearing them they have a lot of sentimental value and i think they're super cute and during the entire summer i basically took this one off i usually like to wear my sweet alhambra with the mother of pearl with this one i don't know this one gives me more like fall winter vibes one thing that i love about the onyx is that you don't have to take it off when you shower so it just stays there goes with everything and it's very low maintenance the fact that it being super comfortable and that i also love the way that it looks it's been wearing perfect for me so if anyone was looking to go between the mother of pearl and onyx i do feel like the mother of pearl is prettier but I'm always worried that I'm gonna forget taking it off. This one, I've had no issues. If you want something that is easier to use, then I would definitely recommend you to go for this one. Now, of course, we're gonna talk about clothing and bags. I want to start with bags first, and there's a specific one that I just want to tackle because I think we know that I'm gonna talk about it. So this is my Birkin 35 in a tain. It looks massive right now. Let me go a little bit back. It is a massive bag, and I absolutely love it for that. I cannot emphasize how much I take with me, especially when I travel or when I go working somewhere so lately specifically October September October and probably November are gonna be very high travel ones for me and I felt like I went to London back to back like in a super short period of time both times I took it in to flight and everything and I'm gonna go to Madrid soon so I was thinking to do a what's in my bag I'm gonna go by train I'm going for a couple of days and share tips on how I travel with it but I took it wedding dress shopping I had my heels with me the heels were inside, I had snacks, I had my coffee, um, a smaller bag inside, my agenda, absolutely everything. I just, I don't know how to explain it, but it's doing everything that I needed and more. Because even then, I don't feel like I'm carrying this like massive tote. Like for example, my other tote is a Chanel Deville, but I have it in the like largest size. That bag, I feel like it swallows me. And this one, it's a big bag, but I don't feel like it's as big that it overwhelms me. Since it's such a boxy open tote, out. everything is there in a glance so I, I want my passport wallet here i don't know it's amazing i love it and i usually don't carry it on my arm when i'm traveling because it's on my rolling luggage and when you're on a train it's also great your book is here i just i don't have to open anything or look around and with the organizer and the pockets i'm sure that it's gonna be one of my best purchases of this year so definitely wanted to include it but i know that we've heard a lot about this back lately but anything that you would like me to cover add tips whatever let me know and i'll do what's in my bag before i leave to madrid it's been a great bag so this one is going to be a little bit contradictory this is one bag that i've been using a lot lately this is my dior saddle bag with the crystals with the cd and it's in satin this is the mini i got this one for my birthday last year and at first i was using it only for night outs but since the time changed like it's night earlier like at some point during summer and spring like you would go to dinner and it was still daytime no, not really, and I don't know, but this past month I had more things to do, like fancier stuff that I was like not fully dressing up, but going like a little bit nicer to dinners or events or stuff like that, and this is like probably my most like fun bag in that sense because it has the crystals. I don't love how not functional it is. I really like the back pocket, I do have to say that, but the closure is the most annoying thing in the world, but I love the bag, like I love the look of the bag so much, but almost nothing fits inside. It's like, it's terribly non-functional, but it's so cute that I've been questioning myself if I should get a full crystal bag, a super cute night out. I don't know if it's a lot for me and I need to be like really smart about which one would it be, I really like the Micro Lady Dior's with the crystals, but then I would stop using this one, so I don't know what to do. It doesn't really fit most of my wallets, it doesn't fit my phone, it doesn't fit a lot of stuff. So yeah, I love it, but I find it to be a little bit annoying. So here I want to ask anyone that has this size of the saddlebag, how do you feel about it? I don't mind that I don't have a strap because I like to use it as a top handle, and it's like super pretty night out black bag. I've been finding the need for a crystal bag and I am trying to decide if this is enough or if I should get a crystal mini micro lady Dior or I saw this Valentino one. I'm gonna show you the videos because I went to Suffrages shopping. I did a shopping vlog video that I'm gonna post soon, but I 
was so tempted, but because I know that I have this one, I don't want to get another one. So I'm debating on that. So I love this bag and I have to report back and say that I've been losing the fear of using it a little bit, kind of. Every time that I start to reach for this one again, because I just don't think that it's a super bag for summer because it has a very cozy look. So I start to reach out for it around September and forward. I love the 19 bag for so many reasons. First of all, it molds to your body. It's super comfy. But this one, more than anything, it just gives me like the best vibes. I just love the color and the tweed. It's the best tweed that I have seen in my entire life. It has the best back pocket. The crossbody length is so good. Like I literally have no cons for this bag, except for the fact that I'm sometimes worried that I'm gonna stain it or something. Because of course the fabric is not wipeable, so coffee drop and you're done. That had me worried for the longest time, but I've been thinking that it's going to be fine, that it's not gonna happen, that I'm gonna be careful. So it has the best crossbody strap. It's just comfy. I always stop using it for a while and then I go and start using it again and I remember why I love it so much. And the last bag that I want to talk about is my Lady Dior. This one caught me by surprise because I initially wanted the my ABC size and I ended up going for the medium and vintage. Probably the best decision that I could have ever done, more so because of the money saved, but also because it fits more. So this bag has also been like my go-to black bag lately. If it rains, here is a demonstration of how good this looks. Of course, the handles are exposed, but this bag is big enough that the raincoat doesn't really take much space inside of the bag and fits still my camera, fits my phone, fits an extra charger, fits like everything. I think the size is just perfect. I kind of wish that it was open and not with a zipper, but I got an organizer for it and it has helped a lot to keep the shape of the bag. It needs a super shiny bag. Like I, I, I really, really love this bag. Has the feet on the bottom so I don't have to worry much where I put it. I mean, I guess it's not much of a surprise that I love a black bag, but this size has been working out so great for me that I just wanted to share. In case you were looking something like this size, this is a great option and you can find them pretty up for a really good price. Of course, I wanted to also talk about clothing and I think I have found some of the best pieces that I've done in years. First one that I want to show you is this scarf slash blanket slash emotional support. Like I, I love it so much. I take it everywhere lately and it's so soft. I love it. This is from El Copini. So this is like um, a super, super long cashmere. It is so big that it can also double as a blanket in some way. So at my grandparents' house, because it's the countryside, it's a little bit more chilly even during summer like at night it gets colder when you're outside and we love to stay out in the garden and this was perfect traveling plane i don't know if they still have it on the website i'm gonna look for it and if they have it i'm gonna link it but if you know any other options or you have been meaning to get something like this i would highly highly recommend you because i love it so much as i said it doubles as a blanket it's super soft and it doesn't really take that much space so actually i've been taking it inside the birkin when i travel here in the house that it's been getting colder especially in the mornings too this is great like i love it when i love something i use it until i get sick of it i'm the same with songs same with tv shows same with books i'm like that person i hope that they have it back in stock by the time that i post this video but if not i'm gonna try to look for alternatives then i have these two jackets for one of them i have a link this is the first one and this is white cashmere this is from el copini i'm gonna include more shots of everything but this one i mean it's a white jacket the cut it's super classic i love it i would usually not wear a sweater underneath this one but i honestly really like the style they have it in navy i also have it in this camel color they have it in black they have different colors so this one i will actually link it in the description box because i know for a fact that they're gonna have it in stock and this is the other one this is from Massimo Dutti. If you know me, you know that I really, really like Massimo Dutti and their clothing style. Polo is also a big fan, but this one is also like a jacket. Let me try it on too. And it has this oversized look. I used it on my last vlog and I tried to find it again, but I cannot find it. So if I do, I will link it. But so far, I just wanted to show you in case you find something similar because I find it to be very comfy because it's not super long. So I think right now we're still not in the time, at least here, to use full long coat so finding these transitional pieces are like short but still like warm enough it's a little bit tricky and of course i also wanted to recommend frankie shell blazers i have three colors of them and i really like them they are super oversized but that's kind of the point i'm gonna add clips of me trying them on but i honestly think like these are really good pieces because they're not super thick they keep you warm without being too much especially if you go in and out of shops or restaurants or 
transportation, whatever. I also wanted to add some skincare products because usually around this time of the year, my skin starts to get super dry and I absolutely love this ones. This two, I'm gonna link them of course, but these two together, I use them in the morning and also at night. I have more, they're really good. And this with the new foundation that I'm using, which is the Bobbi Brown, it has SPF. I usually don't use foundations that have SPF on them because I use SPF separately, but this one has SPF 40 and it doesn't really make me look greasy. It's really light. I don't like super full coverage. So if you were looking for something a little bit more like a skin tint, this is it. And I also have three lip products that I want to show you. Many of these are actually found because of TikTok and they were impossible to find for a while. So the first one is this. It looks super simple. It's from Clinique and it's the Black Honey. So basically it is like this very dark red, but it's definitely more subtle on the lips. So I'm gonna put it on. It is subtle, but it does add color to your lips. It doesn't look like this. Then I think this is my favorite one. This is from Hourglass. This was super hard to find. I got it in the rosy shade. It's super creamy. So you basically pump it up like this. It doesn't add a lot of color color but it gives you like this pinky shade so this one and this is the last one this is by Fenty Beauty and I got it in the shade hot chocolate it has a little bit of glitter but not much on it and this one I actually got it because I saw it on someone else and I was like oh that looks really pretty what it is so it is definitely a brown shade and this one I don't use a lot but I add a little bit on it one of the few glosses that it doesn't really make my lips sticky so I really like it I also wanted to talk about the Avalon pillows so I was quite sad that I wanted the gold ones and also the blanket and I was not able to find it for the longest time so I saw these two and I jumped on them and I think I kind of love the way that they look so I'm thinking maybe I'm getting the matching blanket and maybe that's gonna be easier to find do we like this ones more than the gold ones and uh, I also love this mug I want to show it to you I have like this mug collection by now this one I got it by Duarte and it's like this cloud a little bit themed for Christmas maybe it's iridescent and the plate is super super cute and I think I'm done with all the random stuff that I've been loving lately. If you're gonna ask me about the book, here comes a very short rant. So I am almost finishing Throne of Glass. I've been a little bit busier, so I haven't been able to read as much, but I reached the point where I'm reading Empire of Storms and Tower of Dawn, and I feel super stuck because I'm doing the tandem read. I'm gonna summarize what a tandem read is if you don't know it. So basically these two books, they happen at the same time, just different characters. I'm not gonna spoil anything for anyone that is reading Throne of Glass. It's probably my favorite book series that I've ever read in my entire life but one of the books is a little bit more boring than the other one and also because one of them leaves you on a cliffhanger the one that you read first supposedly people recommended that you read them at the same time so there's this guide online that you read one or two chapters of one of the books and then you switch to the other ones and both of them really complement each other because things are actually happening exactly at the same time but sometimes i forget to change books carrying two books around is not the most practical then i tried on the kindle but also switching books again i wish that it was just like a big massive book itself that was sold. I know that there's a few PDFs online but that is not something that you can actually do. So I feel a little bit stuck but I am pulling through. I am reading like one hour a day. So basically my morning routines have been, I wake up, I read an hour, I get ready, have my coffee, and then I go to Pilates, is that I have actually been loving. I do reformer Pilates, highly recommend it to anyone. It's a lot of fun. I've also been a little bit obsessed with the Bottega Veneta. I don't remember if it's Intrecciato or Intrecciato. It's like a massive Jody been thinking about getting it. I'm gonna show you a few pictures of that bag. Would love to know your thoughts about it. And I think this is it. I know that I had a lot of random stuff, but it's literally what I've been really loving. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're not done watching my channel, I'm gonna leave you two videos right here in case you wanna check them out. Thank you and see you on the next one. Bye.